Ladies and gentlemen, it has been one of those weeks. It has been a six pack of Zendikar kind of week. Here we go. I've been extremely busy at work. So much so that it's actually taking up all of my free time that I would normally do stuff with this channel and uh, open packs up. So I'm really cramming this in. And I feel like I deserve this right here to open up all these packs of Zendikar and see what's inside them. Come along with me on this little recreational voyage to see what I might get on the plane of Zendikar. Trying out a new light setup too. Let me know what you think. Is there too much glare? Does it look good? Let me see the cards. Do I like cards like Spreading Seas that I'm gonna probably scan in a second? You tell me, how does it look? We got some uncommons. We got an Inferno Trap, a Baloth Woodcrasher, a Jawar Isle Refuge, and for the rare, a Kazul Warlord. He's a creature Minotaur Warrior Ally. For five, he's a 3 3. Whenever he enters or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a 1 1 counter on each ally creature you control. Allies are a thing, right? So let's scan him up. Whoop, turn on the scanner. There it is. Scan. Whoop, whoop, double tap. 49 cents for a warlord. We will fix that. Here we go. Got a Fuller Island and a snake and a foil. Nimana Cell Sword. Common. Cool, 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 cool. Real quick, I just gotta see how did that look in the new light setup. I think it looks pretty good. You let me know. I'm gonna scan this spreading seas. It's one that is a little bit better for a common, but does not make my typical 90 cent level that I'd try to get to. Anyway, let's open more packs. These packs retail for like three cents, I think, something like that. So. Not a big deal. This is uh, just recreating here. Goblin Shortcutter. Very cool. A Turn Timber Grove. Let's see. Uncommon Pitfall Trap. Mind Sludge. That is literally what I felt like all like two weeks. We've been busy at work. There we go. Core Duelist and an Oracle of Muldaya. That's a hit right there. Oracle of Moldiah is an Elf Shaman for 4 to 2-2. Two, two. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. That's pretty good, right? Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. Pretty good card. I think this might see some play. Full Art Mountain. Oracle of Moldiah. 33.95. Yep, that seems to be in demand. We'll put it right there. And some rule tips on landfall. There you go. Pause there and read all of that. Go where the action is at the Magic Grand Prix, which has been rebranded a couple times since then. Here we go. Another pack. Come on, Chandra. Show me what you got. Got a Timber Maw Larva. Craziness. Paralyzing Grasp. Oop. A Cartographer. Spell Pierce, good card. Demolish, Relic Crush. Kazandu, Blade Master. This might have been worth a little bit at one time, but I think now, yeah, 50 cents for an uncommon is not bad, but it goes there. Quest for Ancient Secrets, and a Primal Bellow, and an Orin Reef, the Vastwood. Land, it enters the battlefield tap, boo. You can add green to your mana pool, or you can tap to put a one counter on each green creature that enter the battlefield this turn. It's got some possibilities, right? That's a good uh, sapperling pumper right there. Let's see. Yep, buck 29. Probably makes it into some EDH decks, right? Full art swamps. Always very nice. And an illusion token. All right. I would like to fetch a good card out of this pack. Scholar, Berserker, Tuck Tuck Grunts, nice. Lacerator, yep, that was me this week too. Beast Hunt, The Outfitter, Tiger, Summoner's Bane, Vampire Nighthawk, another one that uh, used to be worth a buck, 
Ravenous Trap is actually pretty good now, I think, at this point. That's the wrong edition, but it's probably about the same. Ravenous Trap in the rare is a Magosi the Water Veil. Two good lands in a row. Ravenous Trap, 99 cents. We'll pull that one. Magosi the Water Veil enters the battlefield tapped. Add blue to your mana pool. Pay blue and then tap it to put an Eon counter on Magosi the Water Veil and skip your next turn. Who wouldn't want to do that? You can remove an Eon counter from a Ghost of the Water Bill and return it to its owner's hand. Take an extra turn after this one. Well, that probably has some uses as well. Let's scan that one up. 50 cents. I was wrong. That card sucks. <laughs> and a full art forest. Beautiful. All right. Oh, rules tip for quests. Read that right now. All right. Couple more packs here. Hope you guys are staying safe out there in the land. Let's do it. Shambler, an eel, a core scout, spider silk net. Okay, this is a zero casting cost artifact. Usually, it translates into being more than 20 cents, but oh well. Core hookmaster. Lethargy Trap, Cleric, a hey, Bushwhacker, this one's okay, and another Spreading Seas. Bushwhacker's 99 cents. The Spreading Seas was like 79 cents, there we go. Okay, Pitfall Trap, Merfolk Sea Stalkers, Quest for Ancient Secrets, and Chandra Blaze, there she is. Very nice. Um, for some reason I feel like I should scan the quest. Never mind. Take that back, I shouldn't have. Chandra Blaze, Planeswalker Chandra for six. Plus one or to discard a card. If a red card is discarded this way, Chandra Blaze deals four damage to target creature or player. You minus two her, each player discards his or her hand, then draws three cards. Or minus seven to cast any number of red instant or sorcery cards from your graveyard without paying their mana cost. Seems good. Costs a lot to get her out there, of course. She is 525. Hard to go wrong with a good Planeswalker like that. Merfolk, token in a swamp. All right, last pack. Out of my sixer. Teetering Peaks, Kibira Crossroads. Look at this crocodile. Expedition, Jiragabard, Punishing Fire. Feast of Blood, Core Duelist, and not a fetch land, a Day of Judgment. For four, destroy all creatures as a sorcery. The classic. And a zombie giant with three jaws. The three jawed zombie giant. Very nice. So, Day of Judgment is a $2 card. There we go. Well, we got an Oracle out of the packs. So that was pretty nice. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.